فَإِذَا جَا وَعَدُ أُولَاهُمَا So when the promise of the first of the two came to pass, بَاسْنَا عَلَيْكُمْ إِبَادَ لَنَا أُولِي بَاسٍ شَدِيدٍ We sent over you, our bondsmen, who were very tough in fighting. فَجَاسُوا خِيَالَ الدِّيَارِ They permeated all of your lands and ravaged وَكَانَ وَعَدَ بَعْدَ مَفْعُولَ And our promise had to come to, to be true. The promise was done. You were punished. These were the, at the hands of Nebuchadnezzar. I told you, if I am not, you know, making an error, 600,000 were massacred. 600,000 were taken captive to Babylonia. Not a single soul remained in Jerusalem. And not even two bricks were intact. And the temple, the mosque built by Suleiman was raised to the ground. Then we gave back your turn over them. This is the Makkabi, their renaissance. They again rose to height. And we helped you with sons and wealth. And we made you very numerous in numbers. In ahsantum, ahsantum li anfusikum. If you did something good, you did it for yourself. If you have done something bad, evil, well, it is against you. You will have to suffer. فَإِذَا جَاءَ وَعَدُ الْآخِرَةِ When the time of the second pro- promise came to pass, this is year 70 after Christ. 70 AD, not BC now, after Christ. Because Christ was raised to the heaven in the year 32 AD. Because Christ was born in 1 BC. You know, this fallacy, you must be knowing. That you know the calendar, the Christian calendar, it has a mistake. Because Christ was born according to their tradition on the 25th of December. And they started one year from 1st January of which we came, which followed it. So actually Christ was born one year before Christ. Because the, <laughs> the era, Christian era is starting from the 1st January. Six days after the birth of Christ. حضرت مسیح علیہ السلام اینی ہاؤ تھرٹی ٹو بیکاز ہی واز ایجڈ ایٹ دیٹ ٹائم تھرٹی تھری دیٹ واز دی ایج آف کرائسٹ علیہ السلاۃ وسلام اینی واز دیس ٹو دی ہیونس فیضا جا واد الآخرت یسو جو حکم اگین وی سینٹ اوور یو ہورس آرمیز سو دیٹ دے شوڈ دے مے ڈس گریس یور فیسز بولے یت خل المسجد کما دخل ہوا بولا مرا And they may enter the mosque, masjid. Quran is saying masjid, temple. The second temple which was built during the Makkabi power. This was the second temple, which is now lying raised to the ground. Except only a wall, the wailing wall. The western wall of the second temple is intact. And the Jews go there and mourn and weep. Just like, you know, Shias. As they, you know, do mourning, they also do this, the same type of mourning in the wall, wailing wall. They call it the wailing wall, where they go and weep and mourn. So they entered the mosque again as they had entered during the first time. And so that they should destroy on everything, destroy everything that they, they laid their hands upon, destroy everything that they conquered. Asa Rabbukum and Yarhamakum. Your Lord is still ready to have mercy upon you. These people, Bani Israel, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala twice says in Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, Ya Bani Israel, askuru ni'mati allati anamtu alaykum wa anni fadwaltukum ala al-alameen. I raised you higher than all the nations of the world. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had been very, very, very kind to them. Very kind. No doubt. So here again, after all their mischiefs and the misdoings, what they had been doing, they tried to crucify 
a messenger of Allah, Jesus alayhi salatu was salam. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not at, as yet destroyed them. Their chastisement, Adabu al-Akbar, has not come to them, which came to the people of Nuh, which came to the nation of Hud, which came to the nation of Saleh. This is yet to come and it will come and it is not very far off. But up till this time, Asa Rabbukum Ayyarhamakum, it is being said when, when Quran was revealed to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, 1400 years ago, your Lord is ready to have mercy upon you even now. Wain Uddum Udna. But if you repeat, you do the same which you have been doing before, we shall do again the same which we have been doing before. We shall punish you again. وَجَعَلْنَا جَهَنَّمَ لِلْكَافِرِينَ حَسِيرًا And we have made hell the prison for the disbelievers. 